if David Allen's getting things done process is too structured and complex for some people, then Mark Forster's autofocus approach may not be structured enough for others. However, it is a powerful system that has applicability for some people in some specific areas. It's well worth understanding. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. Mark Forster's autofocus methodology for time management is ideal, I think, in three circumstances. Firstly, it's great if you've got a small list. And I don't necessarily mean that it's only two or three items, but if you've just got one list of things that you need to get done and it's fairly well contained, that's ideal. Secondly, it's also ideal for people who aren't under a huge amount of time pressure, but they've got a list of things and they need to get them done. Thirdly, it's perfect for people who feel overwhelmed by their list of stuff to do, regardless of whether it's a big long list and there is time pressure, or it's a small old list and there's no real time pressure. It's the feeling of overwhelm that makes it useful. The important thing about the autofocus process is that it doesn't do with prioritization. It suggests we should look rather than for the most important thing or the most urgent thing, we should focus on finding the thing that we want to do next. It kind of implicitly assumes that everything on your list is either important and you will do it, or it's not important and you won't want to do it, and therefore it won't get done. It leaves the prioritization to your unconscious mind. What makes the autofocus method work well is that it motivates you in two ways. Firstly, you only focus on one page of your list at a time, which means that you've got a quasi closed list. It might in fact be an open list, but by only focusing on one page at a time, you close your list. And secondly, it's motivating because it allows you to do what you fancy doing next. Having done that, you've made some progress, you've got some momentum and you can move to the next thing. It's great for people who are good at procrastination, but not great for people who procrastinate to the degree that with the autofocus method, they will continue to put off and off something that is genuinely important. Mark Forster is a best-selling time management author, and I'll put some links to some of his books in the description below. But strangely, as far as I'm aware, the autofocus method isn't available in any of his books. He's made it available through his website. So from that, here's how to use the autofocus system. It starts with a single page in a notebook. Start your list in your notebook on line paper, something like 20, 30, or maybe 40 lines per page. You can make your list as long as you like, but the autofocus process starts with only one page. The oldest page, which has still got stuff on, scan that list and find something you want to do. When you find something, then work on it for as long as you feel you want to or need to. When you've finished your work, go back and cross that item off your list. If, however, you didn't finish everything you need to do, then put the remaining work as a new item on the end of your list, which may be on another page. Then go back to the page that you're working on and continue to scan it and look for something that grabs your attention and you want to do. If, however, you go over that page and there is nothing on it that you want to work on, then turn to the next page in your list. Before you turn to the next page in your list, though, if there are items that are still on the list that you haven't crossed off, but you don't want to do now, 
you will find it helpful to get a highlighter out and highlight them so that in future, when you come back and do another review at another time, they stand out and grab your attention more easily. Now you're on a new page, repeat the process. Scan through that page and look for something that grabs your attention as something you want to do and work on it. Keep going with this process as you work through each page until you get to the end of your list. When you've finished the whole list, you've worked through to the end of the last page on your list, then return to the start of the list and work through the highlighted items. And this is where the process will either work or fail for procrastinators. Entrenched, deep-seated procrastinators will be left only with things that are on their list that they haven't crossed off, but they won't want to do them, so they'll find new things to do. If it's going to work for you, you will now be confronted by things that you don't want to do, but they are all that are left for you to do, and so you'll have to do one of them. I will leave it for you to discover whether Mark Forster's autofocus process will work for you. It's not one of the better known time management approaches, but it is different to almost all others, and therefore it is useful to know about it. Its closest resemblance is to my overwhelm routine, and that's why I think it particularly is well suited to people who are overwhelmed. However, take from it the ideas that you've got and use them to improve your productivity, your efficiency, and your effectiveness. Please do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. There's loads more great management courses content to come, so please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.